Many entrepreneurs and would-be entrepreneurs would like to design their future, but they just don't know where to begin. Stay right here and you'll discover three simple steps that will set you on the path to designing your future. Welcome to this episode of Live Your Best Life Now with your host, motivational speaker and president of Dream Achievers Unlimited, Leanne Cannon. The first step is to know what you want. As obvious as that might sound, most people really don't know exactly what they want. They go to work and come home every day, never allowing themselves the luxury of contemplating what it is they really want in life. Others may have a fuzzy picture, but not a crystal clear vision of exactly what they want. Think about this. When a builder has a vision of a hospital or a school they would like to build, they know exactly what they want. They know how many rooms there are going to be, how many windows, doors, everything, all the details. And you're trying to build something too, aren't you? Build a career, build a business, build up your health. Why would it be any different for you or for me? Guess what? It's not. It's the same. So first, make sure you have a crystal clear vision of exactly what you want. Which brings us to step number two, and that is to create a blueprint. Going back to that builder, you and I both know that it doesn't matter how crystal clear that vision is in the builder's mind, nothing is going to happen until it's laid out in a blueprint. Isn't that true? Well, When it comes to your goals, it has been said that until you commit your goals to paper, you merely have intentions that are like seeds without soil. We know that seeds need soil to grow. Well, paper is to goals what soil is to seed. And if you plant the seeds of thought from your mind onto paper, then it can come to fruition. Oftentimes, business professionals have written down bottom line projections for the end of the year or the end of the month with no other goals written down. No health goals, personal goals, personal development goals, or anything else. Designing your future encompasses more than just bottom line fiscal projections. It involves every aspect of your life. Make sure that when you draw up your blueprint, it reflects your whole life, not just your business. So, now that you've drafted your blueprint, what do you do with it? That's where step three comes in. Keep it in front of you. You know, I worked across the hallway from an architecture company years ago. Where do you suppose the blueprints were when they were working on a project? They were everywhere. They were strewn across tables all over the office, and they stayed there every day while they were working on their project. They didn't roll up a blueprint and park it on the shelf until that project was completed. So it's important that you keep your blueprint in front of you, too. And there are many ways to do that. In fact, there's much more to say about this topic. There are three more critical steps that you'll want to know about because the first three steps will get you started, but they won't get you there without these last three steps. So be sure to click the link below and open my article, How to Design Your Future, and get the rest of the story. If you think there's value here, please share it with your friends, post it on social media, and then Invite your friends back to my show. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for watching Live Your Best Life Now. For more great information, visit dreamachieversunlimited.com. Also, browse the other shows found on this Biz TV Shows Network.